Hey YouTube, um, I'm doing this video to show you how to take a, uh, a Google domain and use the Go Google domain with uh, GoDaddy hosting. So I'm a really big fan of Google domains. Um, I think they make it really easy for you to buy a domain. Uh, it's $12 to buy a domain and it's $12 when you renew the domain. And what's great about the Google domains is that it, it includes uh, privacy. So for the 12 bucks you automatically get privacy. Um, Whereas with GoDaddy, you know, you can buy a domain really cheap for, you know, $1.99 or $2.99 or whatever the promotion is. But then you got to pay <clears throat> $9.99 for the privacy on it, for the privacy registration. Um, so going forward, you're going to end up paying like $20 or $25 every single year to renew that domain. Um, and I, I just think, I, I just think the Google... Um, the Google interface and the way that you manage your domain is a lot easier than doing it on GoDaddy. So um, I just bought this domain, uh, vegansprinkles.com here, and I'm going to show you how to how to move how to use Google how to use GoDaddy hosting with this domain. So I'm going to go over here to my uh, this is my domain account on GoDaddy, and in order to add this domain to GoDaddy so that I can use the hosting on GoDaddy. I'm gonna. I need to create an offsite. Uh, to I need to add the DNS hosting to GoDaddy. So you would go up to here to, on your hosting account. You would log into your cPanel or log into your GoDaddy account. You would go to domains and then you would go to DNS and then click on add DNS hosting. <clears throat> and here in DNS hosting, you would put in your domain name. So vegan sprinkles. Dot com and then hit next and then it's going to give you the name servers that you're going to use so I'm going to copy this name server I'm going to go over to Google domains I'm going to go click on the DNS settings for vegansprinkles.com and then I'm going to use custom name servers so I'm going to copy over this first name server and save that. Well, <clears throat> let me add, you have to have two of them, so I'll put that one in there. We'll go back over to GoDaddy, copy this other name server, put that in there, and then save it. So now we're pointing the domain from Google, we're po pointing that domain vegansprinkles.com we're pointing it to the GoDaddy hosting name servers. So, and GoDaddy's going to now manage the DNS records. So, <clears throat> so we're done with Google. Um, we can go back to my domains, and you'll see that you, all of this is now not blue anymore. So you can't you can't really set up a website through Google or do an email. Everything now is going to be over at, at uh, GoDaddy. You'll still have the domain. The domain's still parked with Google, and you'll still be renewing the domain with Google but you'll be hosting the website through GoDaddy. Um, so now here you can either manage the DNS records or I'm going to click on view my domains. <clears throat> and if we refresh this or in a few minutes here we'll see that we've got the new domain here. So let me refresh this and see if it'll show up. So it hasn't shown up yet. Let's uh, <clears throat> so it should show up here in a few minutes the the domain that we just did and it'll show up like this this domain here this best rated healthcare.com it'll show up and I'll say DNS only offsite okay so I just refreshed the page and now we've got vegansprinkles.com <clears throat> it's part of my domains uh, under my GoDaddy account, and you can see here it's it's uh, showing up as DNS, DNS only offsite uh, domain. So now the next step is we need to add the domain as an add-on do domain to um, to the hosting account. <clears throat> so we'll go up here to where it says domains, click on the drop down, and go to hosting. And I'm using a a shared hosting account with uh, GoDaddy, so that means I've got multiple websites hosted with one account 
So here on the uh, the C panel for the shared hosting, we're gonna scroll down to uh, domains, and then click on add-on domains. And then here we're gonna go to uh, to create an add-on domain. So the new domain name is uh, vegan sprinkles.com and <clears throat> I'm gonna create the document root I'm gonna make the document root of vegan sprinkles.com or actually I'll just make it vegan sprinkles make sure I spelled that all right and then you just simply click on add domain And then it'll say the add-on domain vegansprinkles.com has been created. And then we can click on the go back button here, the go back link. And we can scroll down and <clears throat> here we are, we've got vegansprinkles.com. So that's that's now been added to the hosting account. And so now I can move forward with creating a website. And I've got the domain hosted with Google. Um, and then the website's going to be hosted with GoDaddy. Um, I hope this video helps other people with uh, hosting a Google domain at GoDaddy. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for looking.